Anyhow, and welcome to my vlog. And this is, I just bought it. Uh, it's time for me to replace my work boots. Because of the fact that they're, it's, um, every year the company gives us funds to replace our uh, footwear. And it makes it great because we're able to replace our footwear once a year. Well, if you buy something that's more than, you know, the funds that the company gives you, well, you know, that's on you. Well, usually I spend twice as much on my footwear than the company gives me money for. Which means that it should last me two years uh, at least, right? Well, um, my footwear is usually high top, uh, high top. They go over my ankles, and I usually wear eight inch high boots because I am on and off the, a forklift all day long on concrete, and none of that. But when I get home, um, as you no, I'm all over the place. So I usually wear my boots probably 16 hours a day, almost seven days a week. Um, not necessarily all day on Saturday on Sundays, but um, if I'm out working outside, I'm wearing them. Um, and of course, if I'm at work, I'm wearing them. So um, I used to wear the Wolverine brand of boot. Now they were pretty good. Um, they were a, a cheap cheap brand. Um, you can actually get them at Walmart. Well, I'm not exactly sure why I went over to Carolinas, but um, I like them. Um, they fit my feet really well. I have a small foot. So, but what I usually do is I wear a, a one size bigger and then I add an insole um, to it and now you get the memory insoles. So, um, they make that, uh, um, so you can add them to your boot. You can take out the old, the new, the insole that's actually in it and then stick it in it or you can just go ahead and add it to the top. And I usually add, it, add another one to the top. Well, it come around. It's it's come around again. Um, uh, last year I didn't participate, so I lost you know that those funds. So it's been two years now, and uh, I felt it's it's probably a good time to go ahead and retire them, at least retire them to you know from work. Now, these are steel toed, and of course uh, a lot of. A lot of guys that wear them, they freaking wear the toes right out down to the steel toe, and then uh, um, then they replace them at that time. Well, as you can see, I've still got really good um, tread. These are the stand. These are uh, the Carolina loggers. Um, I don't know what the model model is of it, but hooey, stop. Um, and I've probably put two sets, two sets of shoelaces. This one's getting ready to go again. Um, I don't know if I got a sharp point here or, uh, just cause I did a lot of roof, roof work with these. Um, but, uh, um, I just stuck, I just put a new set of, um, um foam inserts on top of the already uh, insert that's in it. Well, these run me right around. Uh, we have a what's called a shoe mobile that comes around, and uh, every year we go right out, and, you know, and you, you you buy them. You've already got an account, and then if it's more than what the company gives you, then you, you have to pay cash up top on front. So I've been doing that for about four years. Um, actually, I've been doing that for, uh, 12 years, 
uh, that have been working for the company. So, um, but uh, um, I don't wear sneakers like a lot of people do with the steel toes in them. I just I get I get these because I need the support on my ankles. Anyway, um, come to find out, there's a shoe store called uh, Shoe Department. And we were up at the mall a couple weeks ago, and I know it well, yeah, a couple weeks ago, and I noticed that they sold the Carolinas. And uh, I found that they were about $10 cheaper than I could get them on the shoe mobile. So I decided, well, I'm going to wait around for a little longer and go ahead and uh, get a set because uh, all I got to do is turn in the receipt and then get them. Well, the other night, come to find out, we have a shoe department locally, which I didn't know. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to go in and just for the heck of it and see if I can find, see if they actually carry the Carolinas here. Because uh, there was one shoe department I was in that didn't carry the Carolinas. So that made it out. Well, the other night, I went ahead and I found that Carolina makes a new um, made a new updated boot and uh, this one's really really cool if uh, it is the uh, Carolina 6921 and this is uh, still made overseas in Vietnam this actually has um, a composite, not a steel toe, a composite toe. Uh, just as good as a steel toe, but it makes it lighter. And also in the cold, um, it's not bringing that cold temperature through to your feet. These are a logger, and these have got um, the... Uh, well resistant bottom same with those a little different um, different little different footing um, and uh, they're uh, thing on, uh, basically they're all the same it's got a few less uh, well actually it doesn't it's got the same same amount of uh, um, quick um, quick lace quick laces but they're all look like they're a bigger and a better better design than these because I think that's what's going on with this it's actually cutting cutting my shoe shoelace um, they're waterproof um, non metallic non-metallic toe uh, which means they are electrical um, electrical certified that was the other thing with the steel toe uh, you don't want to be using that stuff around electricity um, yeah um, but um, the uh, um, the uh, also it's already got a memory foam washable insert already so they say it can be washed but uh, I, I put it on the other day and it felt really really good and I'll put this in a service probably tomorrow um, now that I've done the video on it get the back in it um, I may even add another foam on top of it. I'll have to see how it feels tomorrow. Uh, and of course, breaking them in can be painful. Um, hopefully, these won't be as bad. That, uh, that would be a key key to it. Um, of course, being in the military, I had to wear steel-toed boots um, on the flight deck. They were called flight deck boots. And uh, so, 
one of those for 16 years. Well, two years out of that was military police, so wore the uh, combat uh, uh, green Vietnam boots. Uh, jungle, jungle boots, excuse me. But uh, I thought I'd uh, uh, share this with you. This is a new new design. Um, awesome. Uh, I bought some uh, mink oil. You want to put mink? Want to put some uh, mink oil on them right after you get them. So uh, that'll help. Even though they're all waterproof, you want to waterproof them even more. And, and of course, we're going into winter time, so I definitely want these uh, waterproofed. And those run me $159. Uh, these would have been $149. And I would have got another pair had I not seen those. So anyway, um, I do prefer, I do recommend the Carolina brand boot. I did see the Red Wing, Red Wing boots, and they're, they're pretty similar. Um, I may uh, try, try those. Um, maybe buy a set of those next year and uh, try those and see how they how they work out but right now I do recommend the Carolinas and this is definitely a new new design uh, this is a size 8 so I can uh, add another insert to them and so there's, there's still plenty of life left in these, which I'll use around the house and uh, try and keep those better. But I've got a collection already, and uh, the dogs, dogs get a hold of the, <laughs> get a lot, hold, hold of the tongue. You should see the other pair I got. There was no front tongue whatsoever, but uh, it takes care of that. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next. I just bought it. And here's a good way to tell the wear on a boot and how well the, uh, the soles, the rubber soles are. That's two years. That's two years of walking on the heel. That's how well that particular... Rubber, rubber.